following special skimmer installation instructions must be followed prior to installing the pool's vinyl liner. Install the skimmer to the pool wall with 10 pan head screws using the outer set of holes on the skimmer body. Tape one of the gaskets to the inside of the pool wall, aligned with the skimmer opening. Now, you're ready to install the pool's vinyl liner. Bring the liner into position. Smooth side down and drape over the wall, trying not to disturb the sand base in doing so. Once you have unfolded the entire liner, Drape approximately 12 inches of the top section of the liner over the wall and hold it temporarily in place with one of the four foot lengths of flexible plastic coping. Notice how easily the coping is put in place. As you can see, the coping holds the liner in place as it is gently draped over the remainder of the pool wall. You should ensure that the liner overlap is evenly spaced around the wall now go to the return fitting hole with both the tape and your household vacuum. Measure from the return hole to about 12 inches above the ground using the vacuum hose. Then insert the hose into the hole up to the length at which you arrived. Take the hose securely in this position, making sure to seal around the hose and turn the vacuum on. What this is actually doing is drawing out the air between the pool wall and the liner. As the vacuum is running, take a soft bristle broom and tap the liner on the lower portion against the wall just above the pole. This will help bring the liner tighter to the wall and center it in the pool. It may be necessary to drape more liner over the wall after doing this exercise. However, this is just a matter of removing the coping, pulling any excess liner material taut, and putting the coping on again. Don't be afraid to spend as much time as necessary to adjust the liner to eliminate wrinkles. When the coping has been repositioned, make sure that the ends butt up against each other and cut off any excess to avoid overlapping. Once this stage is completed, you can begin filling the pool with water. Once the liner is installed and the pool is partially filled with water, you can finish the skimmer installation. Align the skimmer faceplate and the other gasket with the skimmer opening on the inside of the pool wall. And attach loosely using the inner set of holes in the skimmer body. Make sure that the gasket underneath the liner is still properly aligned with the skimmer opening. Now, tighten the screws using the following pattern. Tighten the center screw on the top, bottom, and sides of the skimmer opening. Then, tighten the eight corner screws. Finally, tighten the remaining four screws. And the skimmer installation is complete. Use a sharp knife and carefully cut out the liner material within the skimmer hole area. Be careful not to cut the skimmer sealer. After about a week, the gaskets will have seated themselves properly, and it is recommended that the screws be retightened. The return fitting is next to be put in place. Carefully cut out the liner material within the round return fitting hole. Put one of the gaskets on the fitting, and from the inside of the pool, shove it through the hole. Slide the other gasket over the fitting from the outside and then tighten the fitting collar in place.